Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2. In this episode, we're going to step away from the cargo hub stuff. We're going to let it do its thing for a little bit. And we're going to begin reworking our passenger network. So what I would like to do is now that we have some high speed trains, I'd like to create a loop that will connect pretty much every city on this side of the river. Or at least this little like peninsula between two the two rivers. Because we already have lines from Brownsville running down to Huntsville. And we already have some lines like from Alexandria to Mesquite to Louisville and Mesquite over to Knoxville. I want to get them all running on one large train loop so that everyone can get around on the same line and it'll be much more efficient. So we'll have one loop running clockwise and the other loop running counterclockwise. And this should make us a ton of money. So let's begin. And we're going to have to pretty much figure out where all of our train stations are going to be as some of them aren't in the best spots compared to where they are now. Okay, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to start here in Alexandria. I like the passenger station that we already have here. I think it's in a good location for Alexandria. And so let's work our way around counterclockwise and fix any stations that we might need to change around. So for the city of Huntsville, we'll probably want one somewhere around here so that we can work this train route into this end of the station and then leaving here it can get to the Mesquite station pretty easily. As for Mesquite, I think this station's in a really good spot and we can leave it here. And then as for the city of Louisville, this one's probably a little trickier as I don't wanna have buses interrupting this traffic here with all these uh, trucks moving oil. So let's think about a better spot we could maybe place this station. So I think one way we can sort of reduce the amount of impact traffic will have on this road is we can come in here and replace all of these with some of the newer trucks we've unlocked such as maybe this tank truck here. If we replace all these, they'll have almost twice as much storage and travel much faster. So what we can do then is probably afford to sell maybe four of them. And then we can do something similar on the other line here. So we can replace all these this one has a few less vehicles, so we'll probably only sell two of those. And we can see a lot of these trucks aren't leaving full, but they're also not really spread out very evenly at the moment. So we'll let that go and we'll see if how that works out. But this allows us to pretty much connect these two roads. And that leaves us with a pretty good spot for the new passenger station. So we can flip this around and place it down right here on that road. Now coming down to Toledo, I do like this station where it's at, so this will stay here. And we can see we already have these high speed trains running on here and they're doing pretty well. So we'll leave that pretty much just how it is. Now this Knoxville station is going to be a little bit trickier because we have this cargo station here 
And we can't really use this one because we'll just be cutting through a bunch of the roads here. So we might need to place one maybe over here by the airport. I'm not sure. Let me look around and see if I can find a good spot for it that wouldn't require us to cut through the city or do a massive amount of terraforming. All right, so after thinking about it a little bit, I think we will leave this station here. However, we'll either have to bridge over the city or tunnel under it, as we could probably re rework some of these roads here and allow for this track to go either above or below the city. Up at Brownsville, I think this station's pretty good. I'm okay with having to have the tracks sort of come up and wrap around the city as this already sets us up on some of our existing track. And then all of these cities by the river are pretty much going to stay Corpus Christi and Clearwater as their stations are pretty much right where I want them. And we already have existing lines running through there. All right, so now that we have all of the stations in each of these cities in place, we can go through and start working on the track and deleting some of the other stations that we've replaced. Now let's begin over here in Huntsville. So we're going to want to destroy that station and then pull back these tracks just a little bit so that we can get the right curve into the train station here. So it looks like we might have to delete some of these roads and that's okay. But now we can get a pretty smooth transition into this station here. So now this doesn't have to slow down quite as much coming in here. Okay, and next we'll have to put in some track between Huntsville and Mesquite. However, connecting up to Mesquite is going to be a little tricky because we just have so many different stations here. And I want to keep the line that goes out to Durham. And I'm not too sure if I want to get rid of the connection between Mesquite and Toledo yet. Or if I just want to use the part of the track going up to Louisville or not. Let's figure it out once we get the track pretty close to where we need it. So coming between these two cities is going to be a little tricky as we're going to need to sort of thread the needle here and maybe go through this mountain just so that we can come in at a pretty decent angle where we won't lose too much speed. So obviously we don't want it coming up as fast as it is. Maybe it'll be better if we look at it more top down. We do something like this. Now we bring out the other track here to there. And now I think what we're going to do is we're going to add another set of tracks and some more platforms because I think the idea I sort of want to go for is I still want some of these sort of shortcuts between the cities as those will be vital for getting people off the roads so that they don't have to take a trip through four or five cities just to move to the next town over. So I'll keep some of these tracks as sort of shortcuts that people can take. Um, so we'll keep the Mesquite to Toledo line intact. However, we might, we'll probably merge it into this Knoxville line here. So we'll have to figure out some way 
for uh, this station to work out. So now this line that was once running over to Louisville will probably only be a quick one stop sort of shuttle operation. And this track will now come into these most recent platforms that we made. So that leaves these two coming in right about like this. Although I don't like how slow it's going, so we'll probably come back a little bit more on these. And then see if we can get any faster tracks coming out of here. All right, this is a little better. I can live with this. We reach a low of 73, but that's only in this one sort of special case. And we'll do that. And then we can use this track that comes up to Louisville, where we'll need to get rid of this station and then pull back this track here. So now we're connected up here to our new Louisville station. Now we need to figure out how we're going to merge and connect up to use this Toledo line. So we'll bring the track down. It's probably going to need to come down pretty steep. Because we're going to need it to avoid these industries. Although it might cut a little closer. Maybe like this. And we'll bring it all the way down to here. And we'll do the same with the other track. And now we just need to sort of merge these tracks together. So we'll need to bring this in pretty shallow. See if we can just get this to line up, which it does right there. And then we'll need to do the same thing for the other track here. There we go. So when we come back around and do this line, we're gonna have to make sure that this intersection has well enough signals that it won't cause issues. But now we have our connection to Toledo. And then we'll reuse this line heading up to Knoxville except we will have two sets of tracks coming into the station. And now we need to figure out how we're getting up to Brownsville. All right, so I figured out how we're getting out of Knoxville. This line here wasn't as destructive and disruptive as I thought it was. I mean, pretty much we just had to delete one road here and everything else pretty much stayed the same, although I did have to rebuild some of it. So now we just have the easy part of going all the way up to Brownsville and connecting up to the other end of this station. Okay, and finally we have this massive set of tracks going all the way from Knoxville up to Brownsville. It's all pretty much entirely underground. And then it pops up all the way up here, Brownsville. As I believe Brownsville is probably the highest altitude city we have on this map. So this entire line is basically uphill. And now we can pretty much just use the rest of the track we have and 
I believe we have our our loot. So I'm gonna go through, place down all the signals, space them out evenly on the new stuff that we built, and correct any of the stuff we destroyed. I'll uh, get rid of most of the existing lines we have on here, besides maybe some of these shuttle lines like Alexandria and Mesquite and Mesquite to Toledo. But other than that, we'll be back when we're ready to set up the new line. So everything's set up. We should pretty much just be ready to make the line. So we'll start with the counterclockwise direction. We'll go around to each city's station and make sure that they'll all be connected. And then if we run into any issues, we'll come through and try to fix them the best we can. All right, so everything's set up on our counterclockwise line. Now we just need to make a new one going the opposite direction, and then we can get some trains running on here. All right, so both of these lines are now set up. We can let the game run now that everything won't be breaking as soon as we turn it on. And we can get some trains running on here. So let's start out seeing how well the Shinkansen trains work out. I'm not too sure how good this will be as some of the some of the stops on these lines aren't too economical for this, such as all the ones over here where they're really close, the train really can't get up to top speed. So we might start to lose some money over here. However, I think the longer routes, such as Toledo to Knoxville, Knoxville to Brownsville, and Brownsville over to Corpus Christi, these trains will really start to shine as they'll get up to their top speed much uh, easier than having to start up and then stop as they would over here. But we'll, we'll start by running eight in each direction and then we'll reevaluate if we need to increase or decrease the amount of these trains that we're running or if we need to change the train entirely because this is going to be costing us a lot of money to run. But if we can get it to work, it'll be huge for us. All right, so I bought all the trains. They're slowly getting out onto the line that they need to be on. And we'll just let this run at full speed and see what happens in a little bit. Although, while we let these trains head out and do their thing, we need to connect up the stations. I forgot that this is something we definitely need as some of these need to be connected to bus stops so that they can pretty much do their job. So I'll add a bus stop right in front of this. Come over here. We'll manage this line. And then add this bus station up there. This route's getting a little weird, but we'll leave it for now. Maybe we'll clone some of some of these buses just so we can make sure we're getting as many people on and off as possible. I believe our bus network here in Mesquite's doing pretty well. It does look like we maybe need a few more buses in some areas, specifically for this stop. So we'll come in here. There's already 18 vehicles on this line. So I think we'll we'll leave it, but we will keep an eye on that stop. Louisville needs a new bus stop right in front there. 
And we'll have to manage this line, delete that station. And then add a new one all the way out here. And then we are going to want to replace all of these buses with some of our newer, bigger buses, such as this one. Toledo, I think Toledo needs, definitely needs a few more buses. We'll replace all these with brand new ones. And then we'll clone a couple of them. So we'll see how that turns out. Over here in Knoxville. I think we definitely need more buses. Well, first of all, these desperately need replaced. And then we'll get four more running down here in Huntsville or Knoxville. So up here in Brownsville, we'll replace these. And I think nine is good enough. We don't really seem to have issues up here. Down with Corpus Christi. We definitely need to maybe add some more buses as we already have 15 on here, but every every stop here is pretty much full. So hopefully five more will help us deal with that better. Clearwater, absolutely massive. I think we're almost maxing out our bus line here. I mean, let's just take a look. We have 26 vehicles on this line. I just don't think it's worth it considering we already have a bunch stacking up out here. And we have a decent amount of traffic. So we'll leave that for now. Alexandria. This is an issue. Um... Let's see if we can figure out what to do about this. Alright, so we've had to do some uh, really weird stuff here, but this is gonna have to be what works for now. I think maybe later we could extend out more and clean this up if we want, but I think we got a pretty decent solution for now. And I believe that's all the bus networks hooked up now. So we will let this train line run over the course of the next few episodes. We still have some of these trains waiting to get out on the line, but we'll let this run for a bit longer. We'll uh, keep an eye on it, see what happens, but pretty much that's going to be all for this episode. So if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you have any suggestions or feedback, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and have a great day.